Hey, what is up, guys? We are here with the Ryu character breakdown. Keep in mind, this is still beta for Street Fighter V, so a lot of things will probably change. He's a really interesting character in this game, actually, Ryu. Uh, one thing that you'll notice pretty quick is that his buttons are a little different. Again, he has that, that Chun-Li style stand medium kick, but he also has the stand light kick. Now, normally in other games, his stand light kick goes straight up. It's used as a fireball fake. You can use it for the same thing in this, but now it's this far-reaching kind of, you know, shin tap, and it's special cancelable. So stuff like this is a really good uh, thing to do. You can do jab jab like that. That's really good. You can do Tatsu as well. Uh, it's pretty great. It's stand like kick is a big deal in this game. I think that's one of his better buttons for sure. Still has a sweep, but it is so bad on block. Uh, a lot of range on it, but really, really, really unsafe. Crouching medium kick looks like that. Stand medium punch is the key to everything. Uh, you know, in the last game you do stuff like jab jab strong, right? But that doesn't work in this game. You can't do stuff like this. In this game, everything starts off of the stand medium punch. Uh, you can do crouching heavy punch off of it, you can do another stand medium punch, sweep like that, so you can get that little three piece. It's special cancelable just by itself. So that stand medium punch is the key to everything. If you land like a jump in, so as you can see there, it leaves you a lot of damage. It's a really important button for you. Uh, he also has a target combo off it. It's medium punch, or medium punch, heavy punch, heavy kick, looks like that. You can do it uh, pretty, like if you do this, that works as well. So that's a nice little target combo he has there. Still has his Tatsu. Uh, his special moves are pretty much the same, to be honest. But we'll get into those in a second. Another command normal he has is back heavy kick. It looks like this. It's two hitting. You can actually combo off it. Whoops, I didn't get that. So yeah, you can combo off of it as well. It's, it's, not a, it's not a super easy combo, but you can do it. Uh, let me reset this. Boom. Okay. Let's talk about his special moves. Fireballs. Same as always. Light one is pretty slow. Heavy one's a little faster. Medium is in the middle. Uh, he has uppercuts as well. Now the way his uppercuts work, as far as I understand it, is light is the fastest, but it's the lowest range. Medium is the one with invincibility, uh, which means this is your anti-air and wake-up one, and heavy just does the most damage. So on combos, you want to do fierce uppercut because it does the most damage, right? Uh, you know, because light doesn't do as much as you can see. But, you know, it's also the fastest. So if you're trying to punish a special move or something like that, then your light uppercut, since it's your fastest, is going to be your go-to. So his uppercuts are a little different. Here's what the EX1 looks like. Multi-hitting. You also saw that I could juggle uh, Light Tatsu into EX Uppercut in the corner. So that's also a juggle that you can get, which is pretty nice as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much his Uppercut. It's pretty simple for the most part. He still has his Tatsu. As you saw, Tatsu's hit Crouchers now. At least his Light does. Uh, you can do that as well. So that's really good. Heavy Tatsu looks like that. Multi-hitting. Really good for situations like this, where you're, you're kind of far away and you want to push them. Um, EX Tatsu is really good, does a lot of damage, as you can see. Lots of damage and stun on EX Tatsu. It's a really good move. You can also juggle EX Shoryu after it as well for a, a ton of damage and stun. So that's Tatsu. Still, you can do it in the air and stuff like that too. EX still floats. Same kind of idea. So, uh, besides that, Ryu is pretty simple overall. His V skill is a parry, which is pretty nice. You can use this on projectiles or strikes, and you can absorb multi-hitting strikes. So. Uh, you know Chun Li's V skill, right? Um, or her V trigger makes her attacks hit three times. So if she does walk up and does far fierce, it's gonna hit you three times. You can just do pop, 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 parry all three hits and then punish her. It's really great. His 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 parry is really good. It's not as fast as you would think it was. So don't think you can parry like a jab and then punish them or something like that. There is some recovery there. Uh, it does parry lows and mids and jump in, so it parries all everything. You're you're pretty much fine as long as they do a strike at the right time. You're in there. And if it's a multi-hitting thing, you don't have to time it really that much. You can just kind of mash the parry and it'll do the whole thing for you. Which is pretty nice. But that is his V skill. V trigger makes his fireballs able to charge up. And they also do an additional stun. Uh, so let's just look at the stun output on charge of fireball. Uh, yeah, that's almost all stun meter. Just in general, you can see that the stun on fireballs is really high. He, and they are, the regular one knocks down, which normally isn't the case, right? The EX version of the fireball, lots of stun and damage on that as well. And charge it up. It's also a guard break, so if I set my opponent to guard all, and I pop my V trigger, and I do the charge of fireball, you see that guard break at the end there where Kami just gets blown back? See that? Yeah, she's pretty much stuck right there. Uh, so that is actually a combo in case you guys are wondering. Not much you can do about that. It also changes his super. So normally his super is this, which is uh, Shinku Hadouken, right? It's pretty great. But when he's in V Trigger, it becomes Denjin, which as you're going to see, also has a guard break at the end of it. 
So if you if you're in B trigger and you do something like low forward fireball super, and your opponent's forced to block it, then you have a free guard break right there, which is pretty great as well. Uh, so yeah, super is actually really good for this character in general. Another thing that I don't know if I mentioned. Uh, so if you do Tatsu anywhere on screen, oh, wait, did I turn the? Oh wait, okay. Yeah, if you uh if you have Tatsu on, wait, what am I doing wrong? No guard, that's fine. You can actually super off for uh, mid screen. You can do it in the corner as well, but it does a lot of damage. So same thing with uh, Denjin as well. Another thing when you're in B trigger, your uppercuts do more stun, your fireballs do more stun. Uh, so it, he's very much about that stun when he's in. in which is pretty great as well. He's pretty offensive in this game for the most part. Like his attacks are, are pretty stumpy, but they all do a ton of stun, and they're very good for like frame trapping someone when you're up close. Like that is really good. That's really good. Like pretty much everything he has up close is just beefy. He still has his four medium punches or four heavy punches as well. You can combo off of it. Still has the overhead. Pretty simple. He's pretty similar to the Ryu that you know and love. He just feels a lot more aggressive this time around, a lot more fun. Very interesting stuff, especially with the V-Trigger and the uh, V-Skill. So, you know, keep in mind this is still beta, a lot of these things will change, but that is the Ryu character breakdown. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.